because they don't want people to look up and say, hey, something different. I don't care what it is. It can't be nothing different. You see what I'm saying? It's got to be the same thing. You see? So it's all that's a form of mind control. In mind control, you can't have, you got to have this, you got to have the same thing going on all the time. You see what I'm saying? The same thing going on all the time. I know this in fact, but I, I know this a fact about people. Right now, I guarantee you right now, half the black people that's got, can't seem, that's, that's, that's got, that's the ones that's victims to this society as far as the jail, the drugs, or whatever type of thing. Do yourself a thing. Go and see what their diet is. And I'm not talking about whether it's good or bad. I know some people that never like to try anything new. You know what I'm saying? They've only, you know, like one sister, I said, what's your favorite meal? She said, soul food. I'm like, you know, you in your 40s. That's a given. Now, I like soul food too, but I mean, I'm trying to inspire to give me something exotic. Yeah. Not something I've been having all my life. Yeah. You got, I, I know some people, uh, I, this sister, I cooked some, a meal for her. And she was picking on in it and stuff like that and all. And I was looking, I say, I can see right now you ain't never really ate nothing. I said, what's your favorite meal? I'm, I eat soul food. God damn you. You 45 now. Don't you think you need to try something new? So you got some people, they have never come outside of their environment. Right. You see what I'm saying? So you can't get him, you see what I'm saying, some some, some, some mango chicken. <laughs> you know? And all because they got a certain programming. And so the government can come in and they can use these particular ones because they got a certain program because the government can dictate what they're going to do and they set up traps for them and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you got to, so that's another part of thing also. What's that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that reminds me of a lot of these so-called Christians. You know, I try to tell them about Islam or Buddhism or something. They just want to talk Christianity. I'm like, yeah. you're no different than somebody that sit, um, grew up in a projects all their lives and never been out to the suburbs or down. Exactly. It's the same thing. Look, I got a friend named, mm -hmm. I got a friend. I went to college with He go to a restaurant. Now he's fancy now. He's a college graduate. He goes to why I mean we both went to college. We we both went, went to school together. And he go to the restaurant. We go he go he go to all the top restaurants, but he always order the chicken. Whatever chicken they have in that restaurant, that's what he ordered. I said, there's some fish over here. Well, I don't eat fish. Why? Because my mama and them didn't eat fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you ain't been out of high school for 20-something years, nigga. You know, and everywhere he goes, it's the same thing. He'll eat the chicken. He'll eat the burger or whatever type of thing. He's he not going to try nothing exotic at all. You know what I'm saying? And I say, you, you know, well, my mama and them didn't eat that. I'm like, uh, yo, your next, his next door neighbor lives two miles away from him. Mm. They live in a rural area. I'm like, so your mama and them was farmers. Mm. That's not the criteria of hell. You, 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 you up here in a big restaurant in Atlanta now. What's, you know what I'm saying? But my point here is that, and I said I could tell, but by his eating habits, yes. not yes. willingness to try nothing new, mm -hmm. I could tell that he gonna be stuck. Mm -hmm. And that's the way and what it is. Christianity is they're afraid that they're yeah. going to have to learn something new. And right. It's the same thing. Yeah. They got to deprogram their mind. And you yeah. deprogram yeah. their mind yeah. by yeah. trying yeah. something yeah. new. <laughs> coming out of the box. Well, and they don't like change. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. part of the plan that they have here, though. I had, it's I had a limited social circle. I had this beautician tell me, because I was trying to tell about Egypt. And, and she was like, I know about all that. She said, but I'd rather just take Jesus and believe in that <laughs> rather than take a chance mm -hmm. by something right. else. Because I, feel I got a better chance of going to heaven with right. Jesus <laughs> than, you know, so. It's the same like, I, 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 I can tell right now. I can tell, I can tell right now. The same sister who wouldn't eat nothing but soul food. I can even tell based on the music. I'm like, look, come on now. 
Okay, I know you grew up on the classics. <laughs> I say, but try something different. I don't even damn try some white boy shit. Like they say, whatever it is, because the white boy stuff is based on our stuff. Yeah. So it's not like it's far behind. It's not like they created a new genre. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, you know, get into something. You know what I'm saying? It's like the guy said about, you know, um, like some of the jazz things. Say, so, you know, this thing. And uh, cause I got a friend, he, he listened to all the smooth jazz. All of the Boney James and all of the stuff like this. And I said, you know, he said, well, I don't like the old stuff. And I'm like, look, man, it, it ain't, it's not hard to get, man. You just got to open up your minds. It's not going to come to you. You got to come to it, like yeah. What's yeah. the name saying? Yeah. Uh, uh, Wooden Marcellus. Yeah. And so what you're doing is you're breaking out of the paradigm. And I know that happened because... One of the brothers heard me talk about Ella Fitzgerald. Now, Ella Fitzgerald was before my time. Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. But I got into her because, you know what I'm saying? Yes. You know, and, and I know it can happen. This brother, he was listening to rap. He went and got some Ella Fitzgerald and started getting this. His brother was 18. Yeah. And started working that in with his rap routine. Yeah. Saying, you know, the, the, these are the blueprints, so it's not that far removed. Everything got elements of the basis, you know. But I'm just trying to say, he goes again. You can tell some people, and all, uh, they stuck. You know what I'm saying? We was listening to all this music and stuff. And she heard Anita Baker, then she jumped all up. I'm like, uh, well, everybody listened to Anita Baker and stuff like that. It ain't hard with that. I mean, but you know, I played five or six other people that Anita Baker was copping her shit from. Nancy Wilson. <laughs> Nancy Wilson or whatever. And you know, but this is the mindset now. Yeah, so our yeah. people are trapped because yeah. they're afraid to come outside of that law.